wound and folded, the obi was like a cocoon. But when it unfurled, from that vision of white, a girl emerged. A fairy, a yokai, a ghost. I couldn't have known, and yet, her scent was comforting, familiar. Sugumogami, when after many years, an object gains a soul, and eventually, the power to transform. arrived listen there's something really dangerous around here you need to run for it okay kazuya that person is hosting it do not covet the possessions of others this young man belongs to me so back off why do I belong to you? I have saved your life not once but twice. Do not complain. So one yokai wants to kill me, and the other wants me for a slave. Great. How dare you call me a yokai? I am a Tsukumogami! Yeah, well, I don't see the difference. Oh, really? Kazuya! No! This is your hour of reckoning. Agree to serve me, and I'll save your wretched life. Okay, fine, whatever you want. I'll be your servant. Just don't let this thing kill me. I accept your offer. Give him back. Not so fast, Trumpet. Oh, you're right. And follow. 
grant your wish. Return to your senses, while my patience endures. Should you rebuke the Anasogi with your own will, then the price of your atonement will be light. If I can't have it for myself, I'll defy you! trouble from a wig she was wearing. So, uh, do you know why she attacked me? The wig became possessed by your classmates' feelings for you, creating an Amasogi. Amasogi? They're conceived from strong but primitive desires. Think of them as instant Tsukumogamis. This one was born from a desire to possess you. You're quite lucky I was around. Had you been captured, no orifice on your body would have been spared from its lust. Didn't need to know that. Still, I don't know. It's kind of cool to think that a girl liked me that much. Small correction. This one is male. Uh, huh? Wow, you don't say. Could you explain anything else about what just hap- uh. Uh. I can't! Uh. It's way after hours. Why are you still hanging around here? Sorry, sir, but this girl faded, see? So I had to- Huh? What'd you do to her? Nothing, sir. I found her like this. And put her on your lap? I'm home. Welcome back, Kazuya. I've drawn a bath. You want to share it? No, thanks. I'm not a kid anymore. <sighs> Crazy. That girl saved my life. Uh, I think I remember if I'd seen her before. But she certainly knew me. Why'd she take off so fast? And what was with those powers? What'd she call herself? A Tsukumogami? Not a yokai my foot. <laughs> After I fell off the roof, I couldn't find my mom's obi, no matter where I looked. So, that must mean... Hey, don't go! Don't leave me! <laughs> Dream again. Spring out of my backpack right before you showed up. And then there's that smell. Cherry blossoms. Huh? Plus, after you showed up, the obi sash went missing. If Tsukumogami come from objects, then that must be yours. You're slightly smarter than I took you for. Indeed. The hand-woven obi of silk Aya Sakura. 
I am Itsukumogami, Kiriha. Since you are my servant, you may address me as Lady Kiriha. About that... Listen, Kiriha. That's wrong. Lady Kiriha. Okay, uh, I don't mean to seem ungrateful about the whole saving my life thing. But, uh, uh, given the circumstances, I don't feel like that deal we made was valid. And besides, the Obi you were born from belongs to me, so... I think that means I'm your master. I take it back, I take it all back. Good. In that case, it's time for your first task, my servant. Good. Good evening! Sweet! Are you happy now? Ah, so much sugar! You forgot the pudding, you worthless twit! When I ask for sweets, that's included! How was I supposed to know that? It's assumed! Apologize to the god of pudding! Huh? I'll go back. Good evening. Pudding! Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, that's the stuff. Just delectable p -p pudding. P -p pudding. So, so tasty. How I like could have just asked for it to begin with. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and eat dinner, okay? Try and keep it down while you're alone up here. Ah, uh, you are dismissed. <laughs> Thanks for the food. Eat your fill. I made enough for seconds. Okay. Oh, by the way, Kazuya, you've been especially noisy today. Uh, Try to rein it in. You'll bother the neighbors. Uh, right. Wow, these spoiled veggies are great. Really? I'm glad you like them. <laughs> uh, did I just hear laughter? Yeah, weird. Maybe I left the TV on or something. I'm 17. <laughs> Come on! Anyway, how long till Dad gets back from his business trip? Um, a good while. He's really busy lately. <laughs> Damn it all! Stop using the same two attacks! You are sure that no one's up there? I'm sure this miso soup is awesome. You do something special with the stock? What's up with you? You're acting strange. Have you finally realized how attractive I am? Do you want to marry me now? I knew this day would come. I just had to be finished. I wouldn't go that far. You lose. Worthlessly about always ducking. Go provide for your family. Anything else of interest around here? Oh, right. There is always that. I'm turning into a nervous wreck down here. Hey, Kiria, could you keep it down? Uh-oh. She disappeared. I wonder, where would she have gone? Go ahead and take your bath, Kazuya! Okay, will do. I'll join you in a bit, okay? Could you just not... Really is strange that Kiriha took off. Maybe she's just prowling for more snacks. Whatever, as long as she doesn't run into my sister while she's at it. Uh. This could go three ways. One. Can you hold it far, right? Two. Don't you peep on me in the back, did uh. you? I swear. I, no, I wouldn't have. Don't just stand there. Uh, what? You have come to wash my back, have you not? Get to it. Option three it is. <sighs> That's the spot. Keep rubbing right there. Well done. Now it's your turn. Go on. Wait, my turn? You are quite fortunate. Tonight you have the honor to be washed by me. No thanks, I'm okay. What are you so embarrassed about? We used to bathe together all the time, remember? No, I don't remember doing that. Although, I probably wouldn't. <sighs> She's right. This feels familiar. Certainly grown, Kazuya. Back in the day, you were this little! Oh, come on. I was never that tiny. Your big ones, though. <gasps> Mine is grown, so firm and proud. My new form has aroused you. No, that just happens sometimes. Don't look at it. Hmm. 
still hiding its head in that hood. Here, allow what me. You, no, don't struggle, Captain. Don't, don't worry. Please. <laughs> Tis a trivial matter. Don't be such a ninny. No, it's a delicate matter involving an extremely delicate body part, okay? <sighs> None too manly, are you? <sighs> My, look at the time. We best head to bed, Kasia. Oh, we've got a guest futon downstairs. I'll go grab it. Hmm? Why would you? Uh. <sighs> this is so not a good idea. I'm a boy, you're sort of a girl. We're not supposed to be... You're speaking nonsense. We've always slept together, no? <sighs> when you put it like that, yeah, this is normal. It's settled then. She appeared so suddenly, saved my life, and then started calling me her servant. Guess she's made herself at home now. Funny, I don't actually mind that. It feels right. Kiriha sleeping beside me with her familiar comforting scent.
<laughs> Serves her right. Stupid yokai. <laughs> you want to share your joke with the class? I think Chisato's finally broken him. Uh, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Okay, well anyway, back to what I was saying. Rumor has it that after school, when almost no one's around, a ghost appears. That's simply ridiculous. Tell that to the many people who've seen it with their own eyes. Some saw a weird slug and some a weird hairy thing. Uh-huh. Sounds more like an unidentified animal than a ghost. <clears throat> Pretty sure it was that. Kazuya, are you listening, man? Sorry, I kind of zoned out. Well, what I'm getting at is that this is the perfect time for a test of courage. Invite a cute little lady to wander the dark hallways by your side! Huddled close, holding hands, maybe. If you're lucky, a kiss! If it's lie, a fondle! Play your cards perfectly and ease in a way! Adolescence is sweet! <laughs> what did I do? That's what you think adolescence is? Perhaps instead of cooking up these ridiculous schemes, you could be double-checking the reports that are due fifth period. Uh, reports? <laughs> I totally forgot. Please, Osamu, let me copy yours. That'll cost 20 pages of screen tone for my manga. Copy. <laughs> You'll copy nothing. You don't have much time. I'll even assist you when you're doing the work yourself. Am I understood? Forgive us, Kasia. We'd help you if we could. Sorry. There's no way I'll finish in time. Let me see yours. This is so doable. Just move your hands instead of your mouth. I mean... That part is clearly wrong. <laughs> Prince Shotoku came after the Warring States period. Fine, I'll actually try. Are you happy now? I will be when you're done. else wrong? No, sorry. I was thinking about how we do this when we were little. Oh yeah, I remember that. You were a pretty intense tutor. Thank you for your assistance. You are quite welcome, of course. I was falling behind back then, so you were a really big help. And you're doing better now? Actually, no, I still suck. Quite the laundry. 
Kazuya. Seems you've gotten your comeuppance for trying to leave me behind. Huh? Come commando. Uh, 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 we'll be right back. Okay. What's this? Feeling amorous this morning? What? No, I'm not. How did you even follow me here? Wait, the door thing. Are you doing this to get back at me? <laughs> I'd hardly bother with such roundabout measures. Ow, 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 ow. My preferred type of abuse is very much physical. You don't say. At any rate, should misfortune befall you near here, it's safe to assume that a Sukumogami caused it. Wait, a Sukumogami? So another yokai like you? Not at all like me, imbecile. Heed my words. Sukumogami generally fall into two categories. Ones like myself arise from objects after many years of human use. We are known as Sukumomo. In contrast, the Sukumogami that attacked you yesterday was one which took form quickly due to intense human emotions. It's called an Amasogi. A Sukumomo has a fully developed conscience. We are enlightened creatures, as you can see. But Amasogi are like mewing infants with magic powers. They cause problems like this quite regularly. We shall need help to resolve this. That friend of yours should do nicely. Uh, wait, before you go! Huh? Uh, Hello there. Thank you for waiting. It's nice to meet you. I'm Chisato Chikaishi. Right, and I am Kiriha, the Sukumogami. Uh, Just tell her the story we agreed on, okay? <laughs> uh, I am Kazuya's cousin, and I am here to visit his school. Uh, name's Kiriha Obina. Nice to meet you. So likely. Anyway, supernatural stuff's like a hobby for her, so she knows a lot about weirdness. She thinks she can find a way out, but she needs our help. Oh. So in your view, this supernatural situation is being caused by one of these so-called Amasogi, right? Exactly, such an intelligent girl. Now then, we can move on to escaping its grasp. I am unsurprised that smashing the doors and windows was all his undeveloped mind could come up with. You're lucky I'm here. Sure we are. Both of you take one. What are they? Kimono clasps, interwoven with my hair. If they come into the proximity of any spirit, they should react. So this will show us where the Yamasogi is? That's correct. The Yamasogi must be acting on the wish of whoever's emotions gave rise to it. If we can find out what that wish is, the rest will likely prove simple. But who would want to trap us in the library? I can't think of anyone who would benefit. <sighs> I can't either. There's no use in idle speculation. Go, get started already. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I think I found it! Ha ha ha! That was fast! Could it be this book? Uh. I found one! Check it out! Huh. Another book? Are there two on the Sogi? This one's going off too! And this one! And another! There's uh, one! Even this? They keep going off! Yeah! <laughs> uh, Kiriha, they seem to be reacting to everything. Very well. I have concocted a simpler plan.
done with it. Uh -huh. You just have to open your big cocky mouth. Seems it wishes to have more fun as well. Protected her? That explains it. Kazuya! Uh -huh. Think back to your conversation with that girl when you first came into the study. What? How would that help? Just do it! Okay, uh, well, I wasn't really sure what books we should get. I? Just to pull down a few books for me. And then? I mistook Sudoku for a war state's warlord. His name is Prince Shotoku! Doesn't matter! What else? After that, she asked me if I want her to come over and help me study sometime. I said no! There it is! Are you okay? <laughs> that girl is the host! She made this thing! Shisato? What makes you think that? I told you what makes Amasogi. It's strong human desires! <laughs> Sato. Uh -huh. Would you like to come by my place and tutor me sometime? Uh, sure. You saved us. And on top of that, I understand Amasogi better. Mm. Then it was all worthwhile. As for you, Chisato. Yes? What is it? Sorry I didn't realize sooner how you felt, I mean. But you do now? Yeah, I do. You really love teaching people, don't you? Huh? The cringe is strong with this one. Crap, only two minutes till fifth period starts! Oh, no. larger force at play. Malison. Malison? I've never heard of that. What is it? How to describe it? It's a distortion in reality. Something at the root of all creation. Something in a mere vestige. I'm really not following. No one's surprised. It can warp our natural laws, but it does so only in response to the will of sentient beings. In theory, one could wield the power of Malison to shape the world to one's will. Seriously? You can make it do anything? At normal densities, the effects of Malison are rather limited. That's why events like the one we had at the library yesterday are so rare. Wait, so for that to happen, there must have been a high concentration of malice in there. Precisely. What's more, there's a system in place for preventing such things from happening. That much malice never should have accumulated. So what went wrong? The blame rests with the god who oversees this area. A god? Aye, our local god. That idiot Kukuri did this. Kuchini!
are huge. Mm. You are Kazuya Kagami, yes? Uh, yeah, no, that isn't me. But you look just like him. In what world? Well, it seems I have no business with you. Actually, I think I can help you. I can't let a chance like this slip by. Explain. My time is limited. Well, see, me and him just happen to be best buddies. Truly? Take me to him immediately. <laughs> yeah, no problem. But, uh, if I do that for you... Local gods. Gods enshrined in each region. They enforce the laws of creation by managing malice and levels. Kakurihime. Kazuya awaken, our situation will rapidly become dire. Emergency measures will be needed. I know. I'll seal away all his memories of this incident along with the excess energy. That ought to stabilize him. Do it, please! I will, but there's something you should know. Ah, the Tsukumogami forgotten by its owner will swiftly lose its powers. At worst, you would go back to being an Obi. It's the closest thing to death you could face. It matters not. Forget anything? Nope. Use the bathroom? Nope. Alright, well, have a good day. Let's all have dinner together tonight. Mm. Sounds good to me. My goodness. Mm. What's up? That bother of yours is quite doting. You could say that. Sis says he used to be more normal. Hey, Kazuya! <laughs> oh, oh! Oh! What was that for? Damn it! I had a world of trouble thanks to you! Now, please take me to Kazuya Kagami with all haste. Slow down, honey. I can't just rat out my boy Kazuya to anyone. I've got to get to know you first. I must complete my mission as quickly as possible. <laughs> Aren't you at least gonna eat something? Anything you want, it's my treat! Damn you, Kasia. You could've told me you knew a bombshell like this. Even if she's a little... Yeah, scratched a little, she is weird. But damn. She can afford to be. Those are some double dangs! And you're footing the bill? Oh yeah! Get whatever you want! Have you decided what you'd like to get yet? Let's see. I'd like to have the 16-ounce sirloin steak. That is an excellent choice, ma'am. With both the soy and the tomato garlic sauces. Well, why pick one when you can have them both? I'll also take the mushroom radish burger and a beef stew. <laughs> a seafood doria and a teriyaki chicken doria. The shrimp and macaroni gratin, the deluxe beef curry, stewed flounder, and the free-range chicken cutlet. Also, the tuna tataki over rice and the extra fluffy rice omelet. The wild vegetable soba, tofu vegetable hey! ramen, Shanghai fried rice with clear sauce, and... Please stop! The pappardelle de melanzane con pomodorini. It's part of your order! Part two coming through! Sorry about the wait, ma'am! And here's the rest! Subjected to a summer of Dojinshi creation hell. Anyway, you said that this lady was looking for me? How come? What did she want? Quit playing stupid! You set me up and you know it! I didn't! Honest! Kokuyo, you knucklehead! 
some kid buys you a meal, and you forget about your job, get it together. I'm terribly sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't cut it, Missy. As of late, I've had nothing to eat but edible grass and mayonnaise. I've eaten frogs, snakes, and rats for protein, but only rarely. Thus, the promise of such a feast was too much to resist. I'd prefer to live off donations to the shrine. If its deity were notable enough to be in the Kojiki records, perhaps there would be some. Don't even go there! You know I'm sore about that! Hmm? Might you be hearing things? None would dare call you a forgettable god, barely mentioned in a single sentence of the Chronicles of Japan. You just did! Whatever. Get back to work and don't come back without Kazuya. Right. Don't make your move till he leaves school. Understand? I don't need to cause it a ruckus. Oh, and don't bring the washcloth, girl. It's time for us to settle this. I challenge you with lunch on the line. Uh, I'm broke, dude. I need this. Though it does sweeten the deal that Kasumi makes your lunches herself. I honestly have no idea what you see in her. Come on, arm wrestle me. Uh, huh? Arm wrestling, are you? You know what that is? Of course, it was a pastime of mine. Ah! <laughs> My lunch, it's gone! Oh no, mine is too! I was really looking forward to that sandwich. What the? Please tell me this isn't something you did. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It better be. This is really weird. Could it be an Amasogi? I doubt it. Was probably just a thief. But how could a human consume the lunches of so many? I see Kazuya Kagami! Wow. Ah! There she is! The bottomless stomach! And who might you be? The guy who paid for your meal yesterday! Pay me back! Or let me touch the ladies! Oh yes. Most generous. It was you who offered to pay. No? Not for every dish on the menu. I'll be working that off all year. I am most sorry to hear that, but I have no money. Come and rob them. <laughs> That's what I thought. No point in calling the cops. You'll just talk your way out. I have no money. Come and rob them. No! No! That settles that. Kazuya Kagami, I've been sent here to fetch you. I. I think not. <laughs> Why should I allow you to run off with my servant? You promised you wouldn't come out of my bag. You are a lowly Sukumogami. Don't oppose my master. <laughs> I see that she failed to teach you any manners. I was expressly forbidden from letting you come. Be gone, washcloth girl. Oh no, you did not. We have no need of you, so be on your way. <sighs> Kukuri's dog dares to bark at me. Come out! Let's handle this calmly, okay? Unhand me, Kazuya! Yeah. <laughs> Have you lost your nerve? Say what? Uh, take it easy. If you use your powers in here, you'll tear down half the school. <laughs> I know. You with the demon teats. What is it, washcloth girl? We can settle this dispute with a bout of arm wrestling. Very well. Uh... I failed to see why the wardrobe change was required. Those are official arm wrestling uniforms! So it was your idea. Okay, so it'll be a single round match. If Kiriha wins, she comes with us to the shrine. If she loses, then she has to stay here. Can't help but notice that I have to go there either way. Kazuya! Hmm? A small task. Move this desk, it's in our way. Uh -huh. We may use but one arm and must keep both feet planted at all times. Whoever can connect with a clean blow to the face is victorious. If I should triumph, you will take me to your master. I accept. Uh, I thought you were arm wrestling. This is arm wrestling. We're doing it our way. talking about? Huh. Huh. 
I've given my word. Follow if you must, Washcloth Girl. Say that again, and I will tear you asunder! There goes my perfect attendance record. I'm surprised you came. I really had no idea that there was a shrine on this mountain. None of the locals do. Hence the state of it. I don't think I've ever been here, but... It feels like I've seen all this before. Here we are. Welcome to Hakusan Shrine. <sighs> the mistress graces us with her presence. can only be found around you. Do you know why that is? I don't. Uh, that's enough, Kukuri! It is because you are a beacon that Malison is drawn to. <gasps> Wherever you go, Malison will follow. Simply by living, you endanger the people around you. <laughs> who better to deal with the otherworldly threat of Malison than the one who summoned it? Logical, yes? <laughs> Ignore her, Kazuya! Lying serpent is just trying to control you. We're leaving. <laughs> A barrier. This is hallowed ground. You shall not leave until I feel that this matter is resolved. <sighs> Are you resolute in your answer? Yes, I am. Now let us out of here before I get angry. Then I have no choice. He is the 
seed of calamity. If he can't be controlled, he must be slain. Pardon. Ah! Santa! So you're taking hostages now? I simply moved a bystander from harm's way. I will ask once more. Will you accept the duty of cleansing the Malison? I... I don't know. He will not! Very well. You have a right to fight back. Run as you may. Make the most of your final fleeting moments. Have you lost your mind? Bear witness to the power of Kakuri, the water goddess. Dance for me, O oh droplets of water. Water pressure. What are we doing? You do nothing! Stay back! You know how this will end, Katie House. Double wall with shield! Water spear!
Well, and where the heck am I? We were fighting this goddess and then got engulfed in water. Yup, that Kakuri's water impact is no joke. She's a tough lady. And between you and me, Kiriha doesn't know when she's beat. Picking up fight with a water goddess, she's in way over her head. Ah, you get it? <laughs> Wait. I should go. Gotta get back to drowning, so... Just listen. I need to ask you for a favor. What is it? Save Kiriha for me. You want me to save her? What, from that water god? Not really. See, those two shouldn't even be fighting right now. Kiriha's stuck keeping her end of the deal she made way back. What kind of deal? And how can I get her out of it? <laughs> Pretty easily. Uh... Just get strong! Then you won't need Kiriha's protection. You can start protecting her instead. But that's completely insane! The heck it is! We'll start by teaching you what you need to know to get out of this predicament! So I... use her true name and wait for an ultimate attack? That's it! Sounds like you can handle things from here. Break a leg! Wait a sec! What is Kiriha's true name? You already know it. Good luck, Kazuya. Uh... Okay, 
Fine. I accept your offer. I'll be your malice and cleanser. If that's what you want, right? Please put Kiriha down. Very well. You will be held to those words. Azuya! <laughs> Kiriha! Kiriha! Are you hurt? Talk to me. I am fine. But thou art a fool. <sighs> mm. And so, this matter is settled. Just as it should have been. I have high hopes for you, my new malice and cleanser. right in front of us. Indeed. This is certainly well ventilated now. No doubt. Hmm. You really did shrink. <laughs> and what if I have? Who cares, you piss ant? I 
shan't remain like this forever, but it will take some time before I'm completely restored. I'd better check and see if you were injured at all. Do not treat me like a child. Uh, fine, as long as you're not hurt. Are you really that concerned? Uh, yeah, of course I'm worried about you. Mm, in that case, you best take a nice, thorough look. <laughs> oh no, I don't think so. I guess this is okay. Get over it. You're the one who wanted to take a look at me. <sighs> Keep scrubbing right there. As you command. Your hands feel enormous. <sighs> That's only because you're smaller. I wonder what else seems bigger now. You are such a pervert! <laughs> I'm in the tub, of course. It's like a pool in here. You're splashing water everywhere. chance you still have some. Like from early elementary school or before? Whatever do you need them for? Well, uh, you see, I... No, it can't be true! You haven't discovered that you're into that sort of thing? Huh? You can't do this to me! I find not but pain and suffering down that path! This could be my last chance. I must demonstrate the charm and allure of older women. I must grasp his heart and squeeze. Come to me, brother. I'm ready as always. Never mind. Sorry to interrupt your cooking. Huh? <coughs> Old clothes? I might still have some, but I doubt I can get them to you tonight. I figured as much. Thanks anyway. Yeah, of course. I'll let you know if I find something. That would be great. I'll see you later. I guess she could wear some of my old clothes if I can find any. that should be around your size. You can't go out wearing just my t-shirts. And I'd feel bad making you stay in Obi form all the time, so... <laughs> How considerate! <laughs> You're finally starting to think like a servant! I'm proud of you! I got 
this bag from Osamu and didn't think to look inside till just now. This Osamu, the one with glasses? What on earth do you think he is? Not sure. He said these were reference materials for his manga. I'm not even sure that this one qualifies as clothing. It's nothing but string. Damn it. Well, hopefully at least a few of these will be wearable. So, which of these garments best suits your predilections? If you truly want me to wear one, I'm sure we can work something out. No, I'm good. <laughs> There's no need to be coy. Seriously, please don't do this. Kazuya. Hey, Osamu. How goes it? Did you enjoy yourself last night? Huh? Yeah, I... Oh, no. No, no, no. Look, Osamu. That, that won't... Hook to... His lair, man! What's this about hissing, Kazuya? It's nothing. How suspicious. It really is nothing. Kuchimi! Training? You mean now? Precisely! You are a malice and cleanser. The job requires fortitude. I'm gonna pass. I had PE today, so I'm pretty tired. You lazy fool! I'll be tortured! Oh, no! <sighs> What's the matter? Are you okay? I'm fine. But ever since our last battle, I've been unable to use my powers. What's worse is that I've been consigned to this fragile body. Should an Amasogi like the hair monster with the book beast appear, I lack any means of fighting it. <laughs> Despite myself, I must make you fit to be a malice cleanser. I'll teach you the art of wielding an obi. Hop two, we'll start with jogging. Malice and atonement. When a human's desire gives rise to an Amasogi, its destruction will bring proportionate misfortune to the host. <laughs> I'm an indoorsy guy. This is too much for me. I can't. Shut up! Your training's just begun. Stop acting so pathetic. Now stay still while I climb on your back. What? I can't carry you. If this is your limit, you stand little chance as a malice and cleanser. Now, it's time we proceed. Frankly, I was astonished by your prowess during our fight with Kukuri. I never imagined you would be such a natural. Yeah, I did pretty good. Let's see you demonstrate it once again. Um, care to start with a shield weave? All right. Obi shield weave! What are you doing? Give it some focus, will you? Also, you have to project two Obi for the shield weave. Go! Yeah, okay. But, uh, how? This is embarrassing. Not only did you fail to project, you can't even use a single obi with skill. Where did the skill you displayed against Kakuri come from? I... I don't know. Maybe it was just a fluke. Ugh. We'll head home for now. Thank goodness. You'll be running, of course, with me on your back. Listen, I have something to tell you. To use one well, it's essential that you understand the nature of a Sugamomo. The same logic would apply to any tool. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it. Most Sugamomo are able to manifest as humans. Do you know why? Let's see. I guess it helps them interact with people. That's incorrect! Ah! The vast majority of Sugamomo are born from human tools, and without someone to wield them, even powerful magic tools are virtually useless. Uh, I see. So in your human form, you're able to wield yourself without help. Precisely. However, this form does have its limitations. <laughs> How would you describe my body, Kazuya? Well, it's very small, but it's also pretty soft and warm, and I don't know, at the moment it smells like shampoo. Right. The point is that when Tsukumogami take human form, we take on all the weaknesses that go with that form. We become beings of flesh. With skin, muscle, bone, and organs. That is to say that any injury which would be fatal to a human can also kill one of my kind in human form. Not to imply that I'm invincible otherwise, if I'm damaged beyond repair as an obi, I will surely perish. I guess that makes sense, but what do you mean when you say beyond repair? Uh, I've never really tested my limits as an obi. But I do know I can recover from minor cuts and tears with relative ease. Cool. By the way, Kazuya. What's up? 
I see that you're equally pleased with this form. <laughs> it's just a physiological reaction! Vex me though it may, Sukumogami cannot exist without humans. The energy that empowers and sustains us comes from the bonds we form with our owners. Until our battle at the shrine, I have not accepted you as my owner. Once I burned through all the power I had stored, I was forced to draw from my very life force, which is why I've been reduced to this form. Kukuri also reverted to a youthful form. It's likely her power has waned as well. That makes sense. There is still much to explain, but... Before that, I will train you in what obi techniques you can currently manage. Say what? Say what? What do you mean we can't fix it without money? The logical conclusion is that these carpenters lack faith in your divine power. We'd do it for free if we could, miss. But building supplies are expensive. We gotta make ends meet. Please! Come on! Don't you know that I'm the goddess of this whole region? There's gotta be some way you can help. <laughs> well, just for you. We've installed a few stopgap measures. Give us a call once you've got some cash, okay? Get back! It's a shame we don't have any Sugamomo that are skilled at carpentry. Lazy bunch of cowards! For the time being, we'll just have to endure things as they are. Look, I did it! Too sloppy! And it took you too long! Like this! Okay. Uh, do it again! took too long, and your work is quite sloppy. There's little chance that it would pass muster. Ah! Like this. Ah! The rain seems to be picking up. Come on! I did it! At last the pudding will be mine! Wait a sec! You used both hands, didn't you? How dare you accuse me of such a crime! <laughs> our ground if we can just get this last board in place. <laughs> Hmm. 
Hmm. Why would the student council have called for me? Don't just stand there. Let's get this over with. We've got training to get to. Hi, it's Kazuya. Oh, good. Come in, please. You asked for me? Indeed I did, Kazuya. I am student council president, Tadata Tadataka. It's been some time, hasn't it? <laughs> no offense, man, but I'm pretty dang sure I've never talked to you before. Don't recognize me? I'm not surprised. How about if I do this? Is he coming back yet? <laughs> <laughs> You're the person who got possessed by that wig monster! <laughs> I'm terribly sorry about that. I fear my feelings for you may have gotten the better of me. <laughs> and just so this is clear, I'm not sexually attracted to other men. I'm just attracted to you. That's right, you're the only one. Yes, I prefer that. Just how long is this going to take? Uh, hey, get back in the bag. Stop flirting and get to the point, Tadata. It's good to see you again, Kiriha. And your new look is very cute. Uh, you two know each other? We do. She found me after the incident and told me all about how Amasugi works. Just state your business. The Tabletop RPG Club? Not a club, an association. The problem is that they want to become a club, and they're acting like jerks about it. Huh? What do you mean? Did they do something wrong? Apparently. They've staged a hostile takeover of the Social Studies Club room. I sent someone to reprimand them, but he came back crying about a monster. A monster? Right. I was hoping that you two might know how to deal with this. Oh. An intriguing group of people. Hey, Osamu. What are you doing here? I was just heading to a manga club meeting. By the way, I don't believe I've made this young lady's acquaintance yet. Me? Why, I am Kazuya's master, Kiriha. Nice to meet you. I feel compelled to tell you that these things are best left in the realm of fantasy, Kazuya. It isn't what you think. It's gone! Uh, the club room! It's supposed to be right here! Uh, huh? That is strange, isn't it? Uh, There's no doubt in my mind that the social studies club uh, used to be right uh, there. Okay. Well, if this reacts to it, we can be sure that an Amasoki is involved somehow. Uh, you do know this Malison forecast is from two months ago. What? Oh, crap. I forgot that I never bought the newest volume. This calls for an immediate retreat. We are in no shape for battle right now. Can someone explain what's going on here? After we've left. Mm. Oh. This shouldn't be possible. This was the hallway we came from. I've been waiting for you, Mr. President. Nakashima, how did you... Doesn't matter. All you need to know is that today you'll be officially certifying the Tabletop RPG Club. I took the liberty of filling out the form for you. I'm not signing that. You haven't fulfilled all the qualifications. Tanata, couldn't you just lie for now and say you'll vacate that club room immediately? I assumed that diplomacy would fail with you. If you won't give in, then I suppose we'll have to roll for initiative. <laughs> My Minotaur is ready to fight. <laughs> Gently, my dear Minotaur. Captain Field, gentle! Will you please just sign the form, Tanata? What kind of class president would I be if I negotiated with terrorists? Oh, no. The science room is open. Hurry! We can get out through the veranda! That's no door. It's only a drawing, as are the windows. This room was only a trap. <laughs> Somebody failed their perception check! Running is no longer an option, Kazuya. Use your head, we're dealing with an Amasugi. Understanding it might be the key to victory. Let's see. That notebook. I think that it must be the Amasogi. It has the power to manifest anything that's drawn inside. Good, so what's next? If they come from drawings, let's try and erase them. <laughs> now, take this! Clever of you attempting to wash my Minotaur away. However, it's not enough. My creation can easily take such a minuscule attack. In that case, how about this? The fire extinguisher? <laughs> it's writing up my sketch. No, my poor Minotaur! Let's run for it. Right! I should be able to erase this.
this too. I'm done! Just barely had enough left. Uh. Another wall? Why? <laughs> A skilled GM makes contingencies for unruly parties. Give up or get TPK'd. There's nowhere left for you to run. Why don't you just give up and sign the paper, Mr. President? That's odd. He's redrawn the arm that he raised earlier. But it's shoddy draftsmanship. I highly doubt that it will prove to be functional. I don't disagree, but we're still in trouble. <sighs> Look over to the right. Uh, a fire extinguisher. Yes, but it's in a bad spot. I've put the three of you in danger. Apologies, I'll settle this myself. Uh, he didn't do anything. This happened because Malice is drawn to me. Hold on, Tadata. You shouldn't have to give in to this guy's bullying. I don't want to, but we're out of options. Not yet, we aren't. Kiriha! I'm ready. Tread carefully. You don't have much health, and I don't see a cleric. An <laughs> understanding of distance is essential in battle. I'll get close, but not too close. The range of an Obi. One show and one shaku! I try. Now eat both! I see. <laughs> so this entire debacle was caused by a magical being called an Amasogi. It came from this sketchbook, and it was by completing a drawing he prepared in this sketchbook that Nakajima was able to generate that monster. Hey, that isn't a toy! Should the drawing be erased or torn out of the sketchbook, the creation will disappear. Listen to me. Yeah, what is it? If someone other than you destroys the Amasoki, you'll have to pay a malice in atonement. So end this yourself. Good. That's all sad. Well, Nakajima, the two of us have a lot to discuss. Let's go to the student council office. I think not. You idiots! Another page. There's nothing for it now. Are we done for then? No need to worry. Mm -hmm. Osamu? I can simply sketch a more powerful beast. <sighs> Didn't we have him tear that book up? Suspecting something like this might happen, I swapped his sketchbook out with my own. Now then, how best to dispose of your Minotaur? I'm tempted to drop a magic girl, but it's probably best to go the more straightforward route. <laughs> So he traced it? How do you mean? You place a piece of paper over the drawing you intend to copy. Then you shine a light from below and draw over the newly visible lines by hand. I copied my Minotaur from the art in one of my tabletop RPG rule books, Which would explain why that arm you redrew was so sloppy in comparison to the rest of the monster. Uh -huh. Seems a waste that you only made monsters with it. So many options. But... Hey, Kiriha. Huh? You wouldn't mind if I drew a quick sketch of you. You what? In your future form, to be precise. You know, I haven't agreed yet. Uh, She's bodacious with ten times more curves than the original. What the hell are you doing? Destroy that abomination at once! Oh, now. Just look how beautiful you're gonna be someday. So in the end, the sketchbook Amasogi was dealt with at the hands of its host. Charming girls. A 
form of culture, a type of philosophy, a way of life. So, Sato. Yes? I saw you reject that boy on the roof today. <laughs> Just how popular with the fellas are you? You violated the sanctity of the roof down the fashion in spite of me? Anyway, who is this guy that you're into? None of your business! You can't expect me just to tell you out of nowhere! It's no big deal. What's he look like? I'm not telling you, creep! You're no fun. Tell me, Chisato. Did you bring the pudding today? Oh, yes, but it's not in there. I put it in the fridge. Hey, stop it, Kiriha. That's rude. Uh, what is this? <gasps> what a back! A doll? <laughs> Take a look. Seems older. And from the looks of it, it's been played with a lot. Do you take this with you everywhere? No, it's nothing special. Damn it! I even went for the holy girl to match my chances. Would she like someone else? What a freaking slut! All I want is a girl to call mine. Then you need simply wish. There's a really weird buzz in the air, and boys and girls are mingling a lot more than usual. I don't think we're coming up on Valentine's Day yet. Cage, <laughs> watch where you're going! <laughs> I shall go 
look for this Amasogi and turn it off manually. In case I fail, you should try to Wuchi Sato. I understand. I see. That sheds quite a bit of light on the uncanny situation at school today. The game is pure heart? I fear it is. You're the only person I can turn to, Osamu. We've got this. I've cleared every character in the phone version. It's not a hard game. That works out. As for my rate, 30 pages of inking should do. Don't I get a friend discount? Behold the pure heart system. In addition to the default options presented in each event, you can also use free responses to level up affection. No dating simulation is more flexible. During each predetermined phase of the school day, you must target your preferred character, say what it takes to max out their affection, and at the end of the day, confess your feelings. This leads to the ending. With your current disadvantage, there's only one way to bounce back. You'll have to use your freeform responses. You should know more than most about what Chisato likes. Use that knowledge to come up with perfect dialogue. I'm on it. It's time to conquer Chisato Chikaishi. Sugumomo! Sugumomo. My school has taken a turn for the bazaar. Thanks to a gal game Amasogi spawned by Hiroshi Okado's desire to woo Chisato, Kiria is off searching for the Amasogi's location. Meanwhile, to make sure Hiroshi doesn't score, I'm resolved to win Chisato for myself. Maybe I can't pull this off. Right. Keep the pressure on. Oh, by the way, Kazuya. 
Did Kitty Hawk come to school with you today? Why isn't there a window? A free input conversation event. If he answers carelessly. Yeah. You might not have noticed her in gym clothes. I think she's napping. Uh, she does enjoy her naps. And her gym clothes. Or are they your clothes? Uh, uh, affection decreases. Uh, How come? There wasn't even a window. Focus. This conversation event isn't over yet. Uh, there are negative combos as well as positive ones. You need to get out of this hole with your next response. Tell me, Kazuya, do you like it when Kitty Hell wears gym clothes? I mean, they're kind of the only decent clothes she has, so... It almost sounds like there are other costumes you have her wear. Well, she can't go around naked all day. So she lets you see her naked, does she? Uh, hey, come down, Osamu! A bomb just showed up! Crap, what do I do now? Defuse it, quickly! Uh, You're the worst. opportune moment. Your affection level is likely sub-zero now. What about you? Did you find the game? Afraid not. It eludes me for now. Osamu, has he any option left in the game? There's one last chance. It could allow you to max her affection level in one fell swoop. Ah! Seriously? Why not mention this earlier? I was hoping we could rely on standard combos. It would have been less risky. This isn't really a legitimate tactic. It's more what you'd call an exploit. I'm not sure what the chances are that it'll help, but it's our final option. Come what may, we'll have to take the gamble. How does this exploit work? It's called an NTR combo. What the heck does that mean? <sighs> Even though this is referred to as a combo, you just get one shot. After school, when normally the only option would be to confess, there is a certain sequence of inputs that will trigger one last conversation event. Use that bug perfectly, and you can exceed the maximum level of affection. In other words... In other words... With a single well-crafted sentence, you can blow our less than esteemed Hiroshi score out of the water! <laughs> you have one advantage in all this. You and Chisato have been friends since you were kids. Sit through every memory of your past with her. Is there something you can remind her of? A shared experience you can use to touch her heart? Chisato. Yes, Hiroshi? The thing is, I think I'm in. I object! <sighs> Hold that confession. Hold it right there. What is it now? Nobody wants you to be here, man. Just go home, Kazuya. You're interrupting. You're planning to try the NTR combo exploit, aren't you? You didn't actually think I would know about it. So what if it lets you bypass the score limit? There's no way you'll come up with a good enough one-liner. Sorry I got here late. It took me a while to find these. Hey, Chisato. Let's play house again, okay? Life. It must be mortifying. <sighs> yeah, I'm 
beat. Hiroshi's missing, but he's probably still somewhere in the school. We'll find him and extract the Amasogi's location. You two can rest up here. Are you okay, uh, Kazuya? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Just a little tired from all this excitement. That's right. Her affection is still maxed out for me. <sighs> Guess I'll just take a nap in this other bed then. You sleep tight.
Did I miss something? So why exactly do you need me to scrub you down? Well, I'm not about to scrub myself. Normally that task falls to Kazuya. But since you were too embarrassed to let him in with us, here we are. That was the normal way to react. Huh? Feigning innocence, are we? Hey, uh... Huh? Uh, is it just me or is your chest getting bigger? Oh yeah, now that you mention it. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting taller too. Thanks to my new place with Kazuya, I seem to be recovering nicely. <sighs> so, you were saying... Huh? Back to our discussion at the sandbox. Just give it a rest! I told you I can't say yet. Fair enough, I get it. Why not settle this with a game? Shiratori! You don't get it, I can't. I'll go first, okay? I never said I... My first word is washboard. Then my word is dust! Try excrement! Touch your ass, you bitch! You play square! You little yokai! I'm a soap goddess! There, there. After thanking us for letting her use our bath, Kukuri headed back to the park. Dinner was great. I'm glad you enjoyed. Wait, you barely touched it. Mm, sorry. Boo. Still hungry, but I have to save some for Kiriha. You haven't taken in a stray dog or cat now, have you? No, of course not. You better be telling the truth. Pets aren't allowed in this house. Dad's allergic. I'm sorry, son. They're right, Kazuya. You're enough of a dog as it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me! Do not call Kazuya a dog, you freeloading yokai! For the last time, I'm a Sukumo Gabi! Hold on. How do they know you? Uh, how do you think? I spoke with these two the day after I moved in. Uh, oh yeah. Don't forget, I was born from a memento of your mother's. So it's only natural that I'd be acquainted with your family. <laughs> when you put it that way, I guess it makes sense. Wait, so Dad, have you known Kiriha for a while? Why yes, I do know her. As a matter of fact, Kiriha and I go back quite a long ways. Too. We'll just drop it off real quick. Fine. Seems her child was injured at play. She swiftly commenced to threatening a local city official until he agreed to have it destroyed. Was it that brat from before? I do recall him skinning his knee. Where am I supposed to sleep, Kitty? You'll be fine. I'll make arrangements. I've told you before, Buster. We can't have pets here. No exceptions. Yeah, they're not pets, though. They're people, see? Thank you for having us. Tsugumomo! Ah! Tsugumomo. Uh, uh, uh. You sleep like an animal, kitty, huh? And wear as much underwear. Good morning. Good morning, Kazuya. Uh, uh, Tell me when you're satisfied. Uh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! I thought it was empty! Fear not, young man. I've come to realize that my chest is somewhat coveted among men. You've done much for us. I'm grateful. A handful of breast can repay that debt. Then by all means. <laughs> Kakuri, why are you two in my house? Oh yeah, last night. 
Their home collapsed in a storm. They need somewhere to sleep while they fix it. Kazuya, do you know what providing for two people entails? This household is full enough as it is. Dad's right. I would do almost anything for you, but even I have my limits. I mean... How can it be caring sister let her brother share a roof with a dynamite rack like that? What if there's an incident, how will we rebuild? Sis, calm down. Kazaki, are you sure you can't take them? Even at your request, I'm afraid I must say no. June 22nd, skies are clear. In my eyes, you were like a bright sunflower. <clears throat> From the very instant I first saw you, I was a man possessed by your charm. Your warm smile, your sweet voice, and your enchanting gaze all seem to bring light to those around you. Like a girl. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Think of my home as your own. <laughs> as of today, we shall be in your care. Yeah, 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 yeah! Look at it. Our it looks like we live on consecrated ground now. Of Can't forget the opening! That's going too far. <laughs> Honest though, we're super grateful. Eating bugs and grass is getting old. Mm. Mm. Finish that quickly. We have a small errand to run later. Yeah, what's that? Right, I'm on it. Can't lose focus now. Gotta 
to keep my senses sharp and ready. I can feel it calling to me. This is the one! This is the one, my foot! Stop getting our hopes up, you got us a fall! My turn? Well, I certainly hope that I can find a pair for myself. A new card. That sure is a relief. Aye. Next round, we'll strip the table bare. But alas, when it came to this game, Kaneyama Tagri proved to be... <laughs> a goddess. Now then, who should I choose? Shall I brave the lips of Kiriha, whose cute button mouth conceals dangerous fangs? Or would I prefer to switch Kakuri? My her lips are as soft and dewy as flowers in the morning. Let's do that. <laughs> that was such fun. I guess we should continue. There's no telling what kind of atrocities the other cards might hold. Luckily, Tagari's turn ended with her next attempt. But on her second turn, Tagari scored the candy stick game cards. And her momentum showed no signs of slowing. She scored neck, nape, licky, licky. And foot sole, licky, licky, for a licky double header. Kitty cat suit. Bunny girl. Tagori Kanayama stood untouchable. None could outmaneuver her. I do hope I get a touchy-feely one next. And I think I might know just the right card. Uh-oh. This is bad. If this continues, then Tagori will end up clearing the entire board. What? How, though? Allow me to explain. Only one card remains unflipped from previous rounds of play. It is possible to identify that card through process of elimination. Thus, if she makes no mistakes, she can take every card on the board with this turn. The partner of the one card that hasn't been touched. I think it's you. She was correct. It seemed all hope was lost. This is our last chance to switch to plan B! Alright, fine. Say, Tagri. Mm -hmm. I need to go to the bathroom! Could you show me where it is? You can find it. It's just down the hallway. Do hurry along now, darling. We have a game to finish. I'm scared to go alone. Would you mind going with me? Here it goes! Do you really think that'll work? Of course it will! She's gonna fall for it! She has to! Enough! I can clean myself, you fool! No need to be shy. <laughs> We ready to continue? You better have pulled this off. I did. Oh no. It seems the cards have been moved. Excuse me? No, they haven't. Uh, are you trying to accuse us of cheating? Is that it? I'm a goddess whose domain is metals of all kinds. These cards are made of brass, and I have memorized every blemish on them. The fingerprints on a card that Kukuri flipped earlier are gone. Yet a card that hasn't been touched before now has them. Th that is a lie! None of us have moved a single card, you hear? Okay, then instead of the unturned card, why don't I try flipping this one? And if I'm correct, and it did indeed get swapped with full body massage, then you girls won't mind spending the night to make up for it, right?
Do not touch cards if it isn't your turn. As you can see quite clearly, you aren't allowed to touch cards on my turn. And when someone breaks the rules, the rest of the cards go to their opponent by default. Tremble before the might of Tagari Kanayama. I hope you do already! Kiriha, Kukuri, and Kazuya obtained 175,000 yen, but the price they paid was far too great. Come back soon, okay? Not gonna happen! Kuchimi!
wrong, Kukui. into this insane situation? Well, it all began this morning. <laughs> Shiro? What's going on? Hey! Kazuya Class Rep and Asano. How's it hanging? What the hell do you think you're trying to pull here, Shiro? This ain't right! You've been our MCS from day one! Mojinai Champion Shinamine! What gives? Mm, how's this? Uh, you love it. Shiro, you Shiro? Hmm? Sure thing. Let's 
Listen, Shiro, you have to destroy this thing immediately. My newfound deadliness is all natural. The girls just took a while to start noticing my charm, you idiot. It's definitely not that I started using some magical cologne. Sure, it's not. Shot himself in the foot. Cologne that makes her want you. Yesterday. Thank you, but no. Okay, but why not? Well, two months ago you liked that third year Suganuma. Then one month ago it was the first year Miwa, followed by Suzuki. <sighs> A week ago it was Akashi, and then just three days ago you told Shirai from class four that you liked her. Here's a tip for you. A girl wants a boy who has eyes for her alone. Bye, Shiro. Damn, the hell was that? It was like she knew my entire friggin' history. Just who is this asshole telling everyone about all my attempts? Damn it all! Looks like I drenched myself in this crap for nothing then! So much for the hot guy's cologne that makes all the girls want you! Ooh, what's this? If you want to score, then here's your ticket. This cutting-edge cologne for hot guys only will unleash your pheromones? One spritz and all the girls will want you. <gasps> Drench yourself and you'll be a go-go girl magnet! Caution may make you too popular! No, oh, this is just the stuff for me! Price is no object, that sexy elixir must become mine! <laughs> I'm coming at you, ladies! <laughs> well, they should have known better. What a ripoff. Guess I'll pick up the weekly boingy heavy breathing special and head home. Let's not be hasty. <laughs> Why give up so soon? Try me one last time. So yeah, I listened to the creepy voice. Sorry for trying. That's quite a story. If we don't keep our distance, we'll likely fall under the spell's effect as well. Be careful. Thanks for the warning. If you don't destroy this thing yourself, you'll suffer a malice in atonement. It's basically like poetic justice. You'll handle it, right? Yeah, I understand. We had a good run. Shiro, 
I get it, man. You're bad, Shiro. <laughs> Shiro! Fine, I'll do it! I have plenty of regrets, but you aren't one! Such a rush. Goodness, look at the state of you. <sighs> Just took a bit of a fall. I'll go take a bath and clean myself up. Huh? <sighs> what a relief. Now then. Dang, I brought this along without thinking. What should I do with it? Guess I'll just talk to Shiro tomorrow. It's just right. That was scary. Thank goodness she's normal at least. Kavya? What's up? You wouldn't mind if I joined you. <sighs> Come on, quit joking around. Cassidy, <laughs> <laughs> your clothes! Well, I can't bathe with them on, can I? That is true. But... Good evening, sir. <laughs> I shall wash your back tonight. We've decided to join you as well. To demonstrate our gratitude. So there's no need to thank us. <laughs> now, Cosmo, let us clean one another. You know, Cosmo, sponges are really needed. If you rub our bodies like so, we'll all get clean. Help me! Help it right there! <laughs> that suffered most. For one full week, our classroom was like a landfill of diapers and eggnog. What's going on here? Trash. Well, he can't become. 
become a master overnight. Do not coddle him! Get up, punk! We're doing drills till sundown! <sighs> you seem quite tired today. Are you sick? No, I'm fine. Kitty has been running me ragged, that's all. Don't pass out. School's important, too. No promises. Kobe Akagami, Osama Osanai, and Chisato Takashi of Class 2 2. Please report to the Student Council office. Uh, a summons from Tadata. I don't feel like he would ask for the three of us unless. Unless something weird happened. Ah, oh, come right. Here. Hey, are you alright, man? Bill, my apologies. No, care to sit? Oh, no, you don't! You aren't brushing that off! I can explain. Uh, well, go ahead, then. <sighs> Tanata lost his hair a few weeks ago. This is his malice and atonement. You'll recall that Tanata's desires gave rise to an Amasogi, a pseudo-Kamioni to be specific. Had it been able to fulfill his desire, or had he destroyed it himself, that would have been the end of it. But I killed it for him, and so he must atone. I am as smooth as a baby from head to toe. Wait, so then, if my Amasogi had been destroyed, would I be hairless too? <laughs> Happy Cancer Awareness Week! <laughs> You're jumping to conclusions. These atonements do vary, based on the nature of each Amasogi. And so you know, the more powerful the Amasogi, the more dire the atonement. That makes sense. Yes, Kiria tells me that this shouldn't last forever. I decided to be patient. Now then, the reason I called. <sighs> That's the gist of it. The reports come from former students of Class 1-5. They claim they were confronted by this girl. She appears when they're alone, demanding something. That's what you call this about? Don't waste our time. Simply warn the girl to stop lurking about and be done with it. Right. I forgot to mention a key detail. That girl, Eiko Nago, she died two years ago. And so, I would like the four of you to investigate this. Look, we're not ghost hunters. True. But to the best of my knowledge, ghosts don't exist. With that in mind, it stands to reason that there's an Amasogi at work. It makes sense that we look into it. Well, we can start by asking around. Aye. I heard she jumped after school let out. Didn't leave a note or anything. I remember her being really shy and reserved. But then, a few days before she passed on, she started acting really outgoing and cheerful. I wonder if that's what she was really like, you know? She was in a fan club for this one boy named Yuichi Nishina. Also, she mentioned a little sister once. Told me all about how smart and athletic she was. Really, man? Why are you people bringing this up? Who else did? Think her name was Nanako? She was just some morbid first year with the newspaper club. I wish you guys would just let us forget about all of this. I see. We don't exactly have a wealth of strong leads. It's a tough subject to bring up. We should try and find some members of this fan club she was in. And we might compare notes with this Nanako Nanakai from the newspaper club. You must have some uh. comment. Anything will do. Please, you. I need to know what really happened. I quit the club before it all happened. I don't know anything, okay? And why did you quit? What was going on? I told you, I don't know! <sighs> Excuse me. Huh? You're Nanako, right? I hear you're doing a story for the newspaper. Um, yeah, but who are you? just speaking to. She was with the Yuichi Nishina fan club? She was. I was hoping she'd be able to give me a lead, but... <laughs> you! You're not hurt, are you? Look in there. <sighs> That's her. Eiko. Where is... Capture her! Now! 
this monster ourselves, someone will face a malice in atonement. That's right. But this Kamioni must have an objective. And if that turns out to be revenge, then we'll have to thwart it somehow. I'm sure you're listening. Get up, you. Mm -hmm. We need help. Tell us anything and everything you know. <clears throat> All right. We were just a bunch of dumb freshmen. There was this boy in our class, and he was really cute. We all bonded over liking him. That's how the Yuichi fan club started. We got along on the understanding that we'd share him, all of us. But then Yuichi actually took an interest in Eiko. Things got awkward after that. It was too much for me, so I left. I can't say for sure, but I got the impression that they started bullying Eiko pretty badly. Sakami was the group's leader. Actually, I heard that she was the first person to see Eiko's body. We should track down the whole fan club, especially Sakami. By the way, I think we should assume that the Amasogi's looking for them too. Nanako said she would try and help us warn them about that. <gasps> Come in! Excuse me, sir. I have the details you requested on Eiko Nago. You have my thanks. What did you find? Well, not only did she have a sister, her sister is actually enrolled at the school now. That's peculiar. I'm fairly certain that I have the current student roster memorized. There's no Nago in it. Yeah, that's the thing. Her parents got divorced, so her surname is different now. Here's her profile. <laughs> Hurry, Kazuya! Leave it just like I described! I'll try. Obi wheels? <laughs> Just tell me where you hid it. Why would you? 
I just wanted them to get together, okay? He really liked her. It was obvious. But she didn't want to betray us, so she started avoiding him despite herself. We only messed with her so she'd beat the club. At least that's what we told ourselves. Honestly, we did it out of jealousy. I'm sorry. So you bullied her. Is that the reason why my sister's dead? That can't be true! The day she died, we all talked. She really let us have it. Said everything she'd been bottling up before. She seemed different. Stronger. She told us she was going to tell Yuichi how she felt and left. Later, when school let out, I saw her heading towards the roof. After a minute, I decided to follow her up and apologize. All that she left were her shoes and a note. A suicide note. Why did you hide it, Sakumi? Why wouldn't I? Come on, think about it. If she named the fan club as the reason why she jumped, it would have ruined her life. I was scared, okay? I never read it. I couldn't bring myself to. You didn't destroy it, did you? No, I kept it hidden. I'll go get it right now. Nanako, by the time you read this, I'll already be gone. But you should know that there's no reason to mourn me. I try to seem nice and stay quiet, but inside I'm a horrible person. My thoughts are rotten, and on top of that I'm a coward. I couldn't ask out the boy I liked. When my friends became bullies, I couldn't stand up to them. I was too weak to speak my feelings, or to act on them. I was really starting to hate myself. And that's when the growth first appeared. It got bigger and uglier with each passing day, until it started to look like a face. I was too scared and revolted to tell anyone. I decided just to hide it. But then... What do you mean you didn't do it? I'm sorry. That essay's two-thirds of our grade. I'm sorry. Cry me a river, you lazy jerk! You gave yourself an easy job and up to team's work on me! You want an essay? Write it yourself! Those dark thoughts I held inside... I'm sorry. The growth said them for me. It taught me to speak frankly, to stop caring what people might think, and strangely enough, that helped me make friends. The growth told me that it would go away once my wish was fulfilled. I thought there was only one thing that wish could be, to tell Yuichi that I liked him. He said he'd go out with me. I felt like I could fly. But the growth said that my wish wasn't granted yet. That there was someone who would steal Yuichi if it didn't stop them. Someone more athletic than me. Smarter. Funnier. Better in every way. It meant you, little sister. The growth says you'll steal everything from me. It says you are in the way of my happiness. It says that you can't be allowed to live. Nanako, deep down, that's how I truly feel about you. I'm so sorry. I don't think I can hold it back anymore. But you're still my little sister. Nothing can change the fact that I love you. No. And the real reason she killed herself was for me. To protect me. It's not right. I'm the one who should have died. <laughs> Nanako wishes she were dead now. Could this be why the Amasogi wanted her to read the letter? To make her feel this way? That must be it! Die, Nanako! Kazuya! The truth me! Nanako behind. 
If Malison weren't drawn to me, then this never would have happened. I helped create this mess. And I'll clean it! I'll be Sledgehammer! Do not misinterpret what you just learned, Nanako. While it's true that your sister harbored dark emotions and that they gave birth to that mark, what matters is that she was willing to give her life to subdue that side of herself. She defeated it! Her admiration for you may have been twisted into jealousy, but her love is what won in the end. Eiko gave everything she had to ensure your survival. So live, lest her sacrifice be wasted. Understand? You're right. <laughs> and as for you, your technique was surprisingly decent. I'm impressed. Uh, you mean it? However, <laughs> you defied me when I told you to run, you insolent bull! Yeah! <laughs> and for that, you must be punished! Sorry, but I had to! Have I passed your test then? I suppose you must have, after surviving that. So now, Sumeragi, I hereby pronounce you a malice and cleanser. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma'am. I'll take my leave. Sure I can't change your mind? About going to Kamioka. You know you could do just as much good if you stayed here. I'm sure. You always were a stubborn one. Fair enough, I won't force you to stay. Be gone, and good luck. Thanks. I don't expect to hear from you till you're in Kamioka and hard at work. Vendetta. A personal battle that is waged to avenge a slain parent or sibling in the hopes of restoring their honor. I see. So the ghost was really an Amasogi, which was born from a lock of Nanako's sister's hair, but was actually created by a growth. Seems like the sister's growth was actually behind the whole thing. Yeah, luckily for us, it all turned out okay in the end. Come in! Nanako, perfect timing. We were just telling Tarata what happened yesterday. Has anything happened to you since then? Uh. Uh. A malice in atonement? She didn't destroy her own Amasogi. But she was fine yesterday. What's the deal? Malice in atonement can sometimes be delayed. <laughs> I'm sorry, if I hadn't destroyed the Kamioni. You think? Yes, Nanako is at fault here. That's why this is her atonement. Kiriha, that's kind of rude. We're done here.
still don't think there was any need for you to be so blunt back there. Silence! Let's head home and enjoy some pudding. Yeah, fine. Hey! <sighs> <sighs> cleanser who had taken Konica's position so that I might test his metal. And I said to knock yourself out. Fill them in on a few details about what you and Kiriha have been getting up to as well. Which would explain how they knew that Kiriha couldn't project herself. Please, allow me to thank you once more. Uh, it was nothing. Tell me, Kakuri, which finger do you like least? I must ask you, Lady Kakuri. Tradition has dictated since ancient times that a region's most capable warrior become its malice and cleanser, correct? Yep, you really know your stuff. I have just tested Kazuya. At this time, I do not believe him worthy of that title. Honestly, I think I am a better candidate for Kamioka. See what? As there are now two claimants to the post in this region, there is but one way to determine which is truly worthy to serve. Kazuya Kagami, I challenge you to a duel! <laughs> Sugumomo! Sugumomo!
You may not. <laughs> My brother was killed! You must let me seek vengeance! Lend me the aid of a strong Tsukumagami! I don't care if that monster hurts me! I don't even care if it kills me! <gasps> know your place, you stupid girl! Last I checked, you're no malice of cleanser. Why should I let you take one of my spirits to your death? This was a foe that Suo couldn't beat! What makes you think that you would stand a chance? Listen, Sunao. Suo didn't want you to grow up fighting like he did. He became a malice and cleanser so you wouldn't have to. He always hoped you'd lead a normal, peaceful life. He died trying to ensure that you'd get a chance to. Try and respect that, Sunao. The best way you could honor him is by granting his wish. Understand? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Suo. If I'd just been stronger, then you'd still be here. Hey! Huh? <laughs> what the heck did you do that for, Sunao? That's for blubbering like a baby when there's work to do. You and me have a vendetta to fulfill. My brother used to tell me all about how amazing you were. How he could always depend on his Kotetsu. But now he's dead. He's dead because you were weak. Because his tool was flawed and it failed him. You failed him. I gotta throw you away. I ought to, but I won't. I'm gonna use you anyway. You might be a loser, but at least you know what's worth dying for! I'm sorry, but yeah, it should be nearby. I guess it ran then. We'll keep on looking. We're right by the border of Kamioka. They have their own mouse and cleanser. She'll assist it by now. What? She'll kill it first? I won't allow that! What do you mean? Why not? <gasps> I uh, sense it. The same presence as before. I... The object of my vendetta is ahead. It's time to avenge my brother. Uh, Spyro <laughs> Is brandishing a sword, Sugamomo. She had this coming. Whatever. Hey, she's not crushing you, is she? No, not really. That's good. Now, do you mind if I ask what this is all about, hun? <sighs> You're a damned imbecile. That monster would have killed you without batting an eye, kid. Amateurs, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you poor dear! You poor sweet little thing! <laughs> you... You killed my brother's killer before I could. Which means... That you are now the object of my vendetta! Huh? Think about this, kid. Shouldn't you be grateful to the person who put an end to your vendetta? No way! You stole it! Really? How the hell does that make sense? Because... because I... I have to take vengeance on someone, okay? It's the only way Suo can rest in peace! You're my vendetta now! I'll beat you! <laughs> Okay, then. You can have your vendetta with me. I'll take you on when you're ready. <laughs> so, yeah, till then. <sighs> what possessed you to feel her delusions? I don't know. I feel bad for her. Gee. <laughs> right! I challenged Kanika many times after that, but I never stood a chance of beating her. To hone my technique, I enrolled in the Malice and Cleanser School, Susuraden. I did well there. But after graduating, I returned to Kamioka to find Kanika gone, and a pathetically weak boy in her place. My vendetta was with Kanika, but I also admired her greatly. In fact, she was the greatest teacher I'll ever have. And if anyone is fit to carry on her legacy, then it's me! <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure if I were you! Quiet, you insolent tool! <laughs> Kazuya Kagami, I've challenged you. Do you accept? 
It would be his pleasure to. Right, Kazuya? Get up, Kazuya. Time to train. No thanks. Huh? What's the matter? Lots of things. You plan to let that girl get away with all she said? As if I let you! <sighs> Explain yourself now! Okay. Tadata lost his hair, and Nanako lost her voice. Because of me. Because I track Malison. If it weren't for that, they'd be fine. The world would be better off if I just disappeared. So I will. I'll just stay in here forever. <laughs> it's for the best. What of school? Done with it. And food? My sister will bring it to me. Malice and cleansing? Had enough. Have you? You've always said before that you wish to take responsibility for the malice and you attract. What changed? Sunao says that she wants to do it instead. So let her. And what'll you do? Live your life huddled up in a makeshift cocoon? Yeah, I will. If that's what's best for everyone else, then it's fine by me! Close up now! Uh -huh. <laughs> Kidia, what are you doing? I don't understand. I think you do. This puts your heart at ease. Does it not? <laughs> Do you truly believe that this is a solution? Are you really doing this so as not to cause others trouble? I'd understand if you're simply afraid. It's not that. You'll likely have to witness someone else suffer a malice and atonement. And you'll eventually face even more fears of Amasoki. It's a fate many would run from. You don't get it. I've an Earth Channel strike! Ground Tracer! Well, that about covers it. Why are you showing us all of your techniques? <laughs> that confident are you? I've seen Konica's attacks many times before. This is only to be fair. I'll give you a week. Try and use that time to come up with a plan. She seems super confident. Aye. And she's right to be. She has more skill than you. And it's a bad- <laughs> I know it! I knew you couldn't be trusted! Oh, I you, huh? What is it with you two? I will not allow you to just spoil my cause of you! Hey, how far did you two get? Far! You're done! Oh, you mean Stop far. struggling! You are too! Until we Let's go! go. Oh, come on, how Thank you. you yeah. You're hurting my back, damn it! Just tell us if you got inside! Oh yeah, deep inside! No! I bet you did it for her when you were me! What do I say to that? So how was he? Kuchini! You haven't forgotten, have you? The range of an Obi. One Joe and one Shaku. <laughs> it seems your body remembers, at least. Sure does. Glad to hear it. Now let's talk about our opponents. The range of Sunao's sword should be fairly short. A single Ken at most. The Obi's greater range should give us a strong advantage while attacking from a distance. However, Sunao has two abilities that change that. Empty Blade, and Ground Tracer. Precisely. Those attacks can hit at a range of four kin. That gives them the reach advantage. Also, it's a tough matchup. By virtue of my spiritual nature, I'm all but impervious to normal blades. But a sword Tsukumagami is a different matter. All else being equal, Kotetsu's steel blade will tear right through my silk. So they have the upper hand then. Not only is their range greater, they're stronger up close, too. Is that the gist of it? Yes. However, we've a plan. <laughs> Those were good, strong strikes. <laughs> sparring with me. No prob. It was a nice workout. So, how good do you think your chances are? I have absolutely no chance of losing. Their weakness was made glaringly clear from our first fight. What's more, my training with Kanika has taught me most of that Obi's techniques. Regardless of whatever plan they might come up with this week, 
I will overpower them. <laughs> Rash as ever, I see. Mm, pardon, but would you mind if I said something? I would. <laughs> you can see that I'm in the middle of speaking with Honoka. Right, and I'm sorry, but it's just that... And you're also as ugly towards your Sugamomo as ever. What's up, Katetsu? Talk to us. Uh, Ma'am, he pales in comparison to Sunao, but Kazuya Kagami is still a malison cleanser. He's been tested against a god, just like we were. I'm just saying, we shouldn't underestimate him. Are you accusing me of arrogance? <laughs> I'm sorry. Their local god, Lady Kukuri, is a water goddess. She would have tested Kazuya with her own powers. Her water powers. The Obi Sukumogami has always excelled at defense. I'm sure her wall weave worked just fine against a water impact. However, if Kazuya tries a wall weave against me, he'll just be trapping himself. When I cut into it, he'll have no means of escape. I need a Sugumomo that follows orders, both swiftly and without question. What I don't need for my tool is opinions. I understand. Projection. One of several abilities at a Sukumogami's disposal. By expending spiritual energy, they are able to create and control copies of themselves. Oh, don't be so prudish! You make me catch a cold! Ha! <sighs> How are you still embarrassed after all this time? Sorry, I just prefer to be alone when I'm naked. <sighs> okay, loser boy. <clears throat> Before this duel, I need to tell you something. Yep, you got it. I agreed to oversee this duel for you two. But I can't have either one of you getting hurt or kicking the bucket on me. Therefore, we'll use these. Magic dildos. Is this really the time? <laughs> no. <clears throat> these here are enchanted water dolls. People aiming to become malice and cleansers have had duels for ages. But if we let them kill and maim each other, we'd be screwed. We use these to cast an invisible barrier of water around the contestants. Any damage a fighter would take is transferred to the doll. That said... That said... Kukuri's magic is only designed to give protection to you humans. Kukatsu and I will both remain vulnerable to damage. It's alright. That's what our projections are for. My projections are not as powerful as my true self, but I can regenerate them as long as I have the energy. My real obi is also capable of recovery. But that consumes a great deal of power, and will limit my maneuverability. If your control of the projected Obi wavers at that time, you will naturally lose. With your current skill, you can project two Obi, including the true one you have three at your dispense. You should consider carefully when deciding which to deploy. But should the need arise, don't hesitate to use the real one. To use me. Uh -huh. What is it? You seem like you have something to say. All right. If the real Obi were to get damaged, then... That would mean you'd be getting hurt, right, Kiriha? Uh -huh. I realize that I've let it happen before. But the idea of putting you in harm's way on purpose... I can't stand it. Know what? I'll do both. I'm gonna win this duel... And protect you, too! If I work hard enough, I'm sure I'll pull it off. It's important that we win this, but nothing matters more than keeping you safe. Uh. Who do you think you are? I do the protecting here, understand? Focus on the time! To bed now. We must be rested. Mm. Kazuya? Uh. You have come a long way. And in but a week's time. I have? I. You've done quite well. How to reward you? Here's a thought. I know how shy you can be about these things. So I'd give you permission to grope me in my sleep. Why would you think I'd be into that kind of thing? Fondling. <laughs> I really don't think it's that funny. 
<laughs> of course not, I'm sorry. So, what's going on? Well, Kitty has never exactly gentle with me, but she was seriously brutal today. We were talking about the duel tomorrow and she blew up out of nowhere. Not sure if I agree that it was out of nowhere. <sighs> the thing about Kitty Ha is she's always been protecting people. That goes for you, me, and her previous wielder. It's been especially true for you, though, hasn't it, Kazuya? And then you went and turned the tables. I'm sure that startled her. Heck, it might have taken her breath away. So, she wasn't mad then? Kitty has really quite a sweetheart, don't you agree? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I certainly hope you'd guess so, after all the naughty things you've done with her. Uh First this, then that, and to top it all off. No, I... And not just with her, either. You've been a busy boy. <laughs> you know, most boys your age stick with porn. Hey, cut it out with these weird illusions. You're freaking me out. You're definitely making those illusions yourself, Buster. I mean, we are hanging out in your dream, aren't we? Did I really make them myself? Okay, then I should be able to get rid of them. <laughs> Nicely done. Someone in your position is gonna need at least that much willpower. I guess so. Still, you may as well experiment with her. Experiment? That's what I said. You know Kitty Hub wouldn't mind. I'm sure she'd be quite gentle in that context. I think so too, but... <laughs> I love things the way they are right now, you know? Kiriha, Kukuri, Kokuyo, and Chisato, they're great. I really enjoy just being around them. If something more happened with any of them, I feel like that might change things a bit too much. <sighs> yeah, I see your point. <sighs> Looks like dawn. I'd better get going. See you later, previous malison cleanser. Right. Catch you later. The previous Malice and Cleanser? Wait, I thought that the previous Malice and Cleanser was my mother. But if my mother was supposed to be the previous Malice and Cleanser, then wouldn't that mean that she's... Wait, no. Don't hurt yourself, kiddo. That thought's been sealed away, so you can't connect the dots. Take it easy. It'll come back to you one of these days. And until then, I'll be waiting. <sighs> it was just a dream. Macho men are not your thing. It was just a dream. It's fine. Sugumomo. Sugumomo. one of you would get will be inflicted on these dolls instead. There are three ways that this duel can end. The water doll's power only works on this hallowed ground, so if you leave, you lose. The main two ways to win are by breaking your opponent's water doll or getting them to surrender. Those are all the rules we've got, so keep them in mind. All right, the Malice and Cleanser of Kamioka has been challenged to a duel for his title. And the incarnation of Hakusan Yori, Kukuri Hime no Okami has agreed to preside. I'm sure you'll both fight with honor. To become a malison cleanser like my brother, and to surpass Kanika, who stole my vendetta, I have trained and trained, pushing myself to the limit since I was a child. But this boy... It just kind of happened? Yeah, pretty much. Well, Kukuri ordered me to do it, so I didn't have a choice. But whatever, so it goes. This brat didn't work at all to become Kanika's successor. He didn't even want it. He's my foe, all right. It's my duty to teach him that things won't always be so easy. Suo lost his life because I was too weak to protect him. If we lose this battle too, it'll be because of my weakness. Again. I can't let it come to that. Ignorant and unprepared. That's what I was when I first became Malice and Cleanser. But I've grown since then. If I have to inflict Malice on the people around me, then I have to be the one to protect them. This is my duty. 
more than anyone else can claim. And besides... Kotetsu? My tool is none of your concern. Why be so mean to him? Because he belongs to me, and when I own an object, I use it however I please. Sugumomo are more than tools. They're our partners. We have to beat Tsu now, to prove that true. Alright, we waited long enough. Time we pick them back or before, Kazuya! <clears throat> Combatants at the ready? Begin! Why is he moving forward? Dummy Wee! Stronger. It's just what she'd be thinking. So now seems to want more. Why don't we oblige her? Tango ball! Crap. We still have momentum. Press your attack! Whatever, they've barely even started fighting. <laughs> She's blocking everything we throw at her. Still, the sword's offensive by nature. If she can't attack, she can't defeat us. So this is what they came up with. Not bad, but it won't be enough. She'll be expecting us to counter now. So keep it quick, alright? <laughs> Empty blade. She's able to chain them together and extend their range. Which, I have to say, requires a great deal of skill. Kazuya's still got plenty up his sleeve, you'll see! Yeah, yeah. 
She's back to three Obi, it's over. Sunel must have something up her sleeve. I mean, she did pass your trial, right? How did she manage to make it through your attacks? She does have one trick left. The move she used to stave off my Skyfire. Skyfire? Are you trying to test her or kill her? Look, I had a hunch that she could take it. And it turned out I was right. The technique is certainly potent, but it's only effective at extremely close range. And as things stand now, she can't use it. Kazuya won't let her get close enough. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? I can't. Sure you can! If we wait them out, our victory will be assured! That wouldn't be a real win. It won't prove anything, unless we beat Tsunao at her best. Kazuya, why do you care so much? Because Sugumomo are more than just tools. We can make her understand that by beating her! <laughs> Dangerous. We should go back. We stand our ground. Even? Oh. 
guess that settles it. The winner is Tazu Yakagami. to maintain that barrage. That and the accumulated damage Kotetsu had taken are what cost you the match. Honoka, will he... Kotetsu's blade is still whole. He'll be okay. They could have snapped him, but they chose to fight with restraint. You should be grateful for that. Right. I thought Tsukumogami were nothing but tools to her. If that was truly how she viewed Kotetsu, they never could have fought with such power. Uh. <laughs> For real, though, that was an awesome fight to see. Yeah, albeit with an huh? obvious outcome. I don't know about all that. It looked to me like you got it close. Sure. Well, if we dominated from the start, it would have been boring. So it was all for show. Anyway, why don't we head back home and celebrate? Since when was it your home? It's mine. If it's not mine, it ain't yours. <laughs> Kazuya! Sukumomo. Kazuya passed out. Aye. It's the price of using divine possession. When Asukumogami and its wielder truly become one, they gain access to far more power than they had as allied individuals. Actually, they gain too much power for a human to wield, not without putting a proportionate strain on the body. You barely even did it for a minute, though. Is he actually hurt or just tuckered out? I don't suppose you know how long till he recovers. I can't say for sure, but I'd like to think that he just needs a lengthy nap. Still, though, talk about dangerous. Huh? If the Divine Possession had worn out before you could finish off Sunao, then Kazuya would have passed out in the middle of the fight. You'd have had to protect him all by yourself. I'd have had to surrender at that point. My spiritual energy was quite depleted. I couldn't project on my own. What? We had tested out Divine Possession for a short time while we were training. But we kept it brief to avoid any side effects. That fight was the first time we'd used it seriously. To be honest, I didn't think it would take that much out of him. Sounds like one of those techniques you can only pull out when you're sure you'll win with it. Bet it's nice to have as a last resort, though. Uh -huh. Dinner's ready when you are! Kazuya? Hungry? They are! Good boy! What would you like a bite of next? Let's see. How about the salad? Sure. Uh, wait a second. Why does he need help eating? It's nothing. He'll be fine in a few days. Uh, don't tell me. They forced my Kazuya into a dark room and subjected him to such harsh treatment that he can't stand on his own now. This is dire, but perhaps I could be the one to heal his injured heart and body. Does everything taste good, Kazuya? You sure are enjoying this. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just being nice. I'm definitely not imagining that's a silly one trying to have that. be crazy. Tell you what, Kakuri. Why don't I show you some other ways you can be of service? Uh, sure. I'd be happy to help him out. Uh, I don't want to help, but... Not like this! Huh? I'm fine, Kiria. It's not gonna hurt anything if I skip a single bath. That's nonsense. You worked up quite the sweat today. Uh, and Kakuri here has offered to help you because she wants to prove what a caring god she can be. Well, of course I want to do my part, but this is embarrassing. Surely there's some way I can help him. Why is it so, uh, intimate? Sure. I have the perfect compromise. Huh? Sorry for the wait, but we're here now. You can relax. Yeah, I'm not too sure how you expect me to do that, considering. Aw, you're displeased? Well, it's all Kakuti's fault. Uh, sorry about this, Kazuya. I just get embarrassed sometimes. Mm, oh no, it's... 
It's not your fault, Kakuti. There you are. Thanks. Now turn this way. Hey, you're rubbing against my face. So what if I am? It's crowded in here. Okay, I'm gonna start washing it now. Right. Well, thanks again for doing this. <laughs> Goodness. You must feel pretty high and mighty making a local god wash your back. She's got a point, Kazuya. No, Kiriha's the one who came up with all this. Kakuti, you can stop if you're uncomfortable. No, I'm good. He did a downright fine job today. He deserves this. You done back there? Yep. Go ahead and turn him this way. Sure. <laughs> What's the holdup? Go ahead and start your scrubbing. Wash that dick. How could you just blurt it out? Hold on, you don't have to do that part. I can wash it myself once I'm able to move again. Hush <laughs> you. That's the part that needs washing the most. I can do this. I have to. After all, the only reason Kazuya even needs help is because I made him become a malison cleanser. He's always tending to our needs, and what's more, soon enough he may well be tending to my needs on a fairly regular basis. Fine! I said I cleaned it! So clean it, I will! Break your down! Hang on a minute! Actually, I need like to... Oh! You had my face right there, and you were naked, and she was washing me. That blasted Kakuti. How's she to take care of you if she's asleep? <laughs> All right, Kazuya. I promised you a reward if you won. Yeah, I forgot. But I did not. <laughs> now, what kind of reward should it be? Uh, chocolate? Don't be coy with me. Look, Kakuni's sleeping right next to us. Forget the goddess. She's deep in slumber. But what if... Hush. You're not getting out of this. Kazuya. <laughs> <laughs> Sumeragi clan, and lost. 
As such, you cannot inherit this house, much less our school, which prides itself on the unmatched prowess of its warriors. Mother, please! There are but two ways for you to redeem yourself in the eyes of our clan. The first would be to see the person who defeated you dead. But in this day and age, that's unrealistic. Right. That being the case, you'll have to try the other option. You must take Kazuya Kagami's hand in marriage. Huh? <laughs> Kukuni, I must ask. What's up? You haven't forgotten about our shrine, have you? It's still in desperate need of repair. <laughs> I can help sustain us with my part-time jobs, but I can't cover those repair costs as well. Why not use your cloud to resolve that situation? Hmm, easier said than done. Perhaps you should speak with Togedi. See if she isn't willing to foot the bill. Anything but that! One more visit with her and I'll be scored for life! <laughs> I miss you, Kukuri. I certainly hope you run out of money soon. I wonder what I can get you to do this time around. Whew. It's funny. You'd think that the summer heat wouldn't bother me.